I want to say one more thing about those who say that Revelation 4.1 is referring to the rapture. Obviously, it's not literal because in John, uh, or I'm sorry, in Revelation 4.1, it's only one person, John, being caught up to heaven. Not all believers. There's no trumpet. There's only a voice like a trumpet. And in verse 2, it says he's only caught up in the spirit. But yet, uh, pre-trib believers will say, well, it's not literal. It's symbolic, but it does represent the rapture. John being caught up in chapter 4, verse 1, represents the rapture. Well, here's what's funny. If you go back to chapter 1, you know, using their logic, saying, well, John represents all believers being caught up into heaven. Well, if you use their logic, go back to Revelation chapter 1. The Bible says in verse 9, I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, I interpret the Bible literally. I don't, I don't base what I believe on somebody's symbolic interpretation. But if they want to get all symbolic and start saying that Revelation 4.1 is symbolic of the rapture because one guy, John's being caught up, well, how does that square with chapter 1 saying that John's in tribulation? If you want to get all symbolic, wouldn't that be John going through tribulation and then being caught up to heaven? Because that's the order that we're reading. In chapter 1, he's in tribulation. In chapter 4, he's caught up in the spirit to heaven. Again, I don't base what I believe on symbolism. But John being caught up to heaven in verse 4-1 is used by those who believe in a pre-trib rapture as symbolic of the rapture. Well, that, it's a little bit hypocritical that they want to ignore the symbolism of chapter 1 when it says, I'm in tribulation. So if John's in tribulation in chapter 1 and going up to heaven in chapter 4, looks like the, symbol, the symbolism there is not on their side. <laughs>